Someone asked me what was the wiring diagram for the uh, contact the changeover switch in automatic changeover switch in the previous video for the Solus Hybrid Inverter. And that's it. Drew it on the back of a pizza box as I went and uh, scribbled out the wires as I joined them. So what does it look like uh, when I've redrawn it properly? Well, looks like this. Here's our grid supply, backup supply, and backup loads. So what do we got? We've got a couple of contacts in series here and here. Why series? Well, I had a three-pole breaker. Used, used two of them in series to just take stress off. That could be one. One contact, doesn't matter. Put two. They're out of the same contact. That doesn't make any difference. So when grid is on, we want these closed to supply and uh, vice versa for backup load. Close them, but not at the same time. See, there's a mechanical interlock. If they're closed together at the same time, kaboom, you'll blow up your equipment because you've just joined your two power supplies together. So we don't want them to come on at the same time. We have a mechanical interlock. Over here, you can see the contactor coils, G and B. G for grid, B for backup. Obviously, when this is energized and they're closed, supplying power, we want this open so this cannot come on and vice versa. There's this will be open when this is energized. Power cannot get to there. So either or will be on, not at the same time. So that's covered there. And here's our coils. Obviously, the grid one is supplied by the grid power. The backup is supplied by the back power. My backup coil is supplied by the backup power. And uh, the only thing now is what we need is priority. If these were I turned on identically at the same time, grid and backup power supplied, these would be racing to whichever one could be first to pull in and block the other one out through its uh, interlock there, or, and mechanical as well. So we don't want a race between the two. We want priority. That's where this relay comes in, the backup relay. So whenever there's power here, there's no contacts in here stopping this coil from coming on on the backup relay. You'll see a little red light in the previous video. That's it. And that means it will open the contact here, providing grid power to the coil of the grid contactor. This can never go on when there's backup supply. So we have backup priority, which is what we want. That means if the grid goes out, business as usual, we'll have backup supply to the backup uh, circuits here. Makes no difference. The only time it makes a difference is if there's an equipment failure. So this, this is guarantee for equipment failure. If there's a problem here and the inverter shits itself, well, and the backup power supply is failed, well then obviously this contact here and here will, uh, sorry, these coils will de-energize, both the backup contactor and the backup relay, and these will close, allowing the grid contactor to pull in and supply power to the load there. It would also close here, because these two neutrals are separate, they have to be separate uh, on the Solus inverter, um, otherwise you can have a parallel earth path um, under one situation I won't go into it um, but when we want grid uh, when we have grid supply in the event that this equipment is failing for some reason we uh, also need the neutral to get back to oops back to the main neutral from the grid so that's what that contact is for using the third pole of a three pole contactor there and that's pretty much it if you regarding this um, separation of the two neutrals it's mainly because when there's no grid and the solus inverter is in backup mode um, it will close contacts in the inverter between the neutral and the earth to to make what's called a multiple earth neutral that allows your safety switches to trip your your 30 milliamp in australia anyway 30 milliamp safety switches to trip and it closes it there and if it's already got a, a link between neutral and earth in the main switchboard It'll have current flowing through the earth wire um, under, under certain circumstances. We don't want that. So that's why that con these two neutral bars are separate and that contact is there only for when you have no backup power and the grid uh, is supplying your backup loads and needs to get back to the main neutral. 